of son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, and be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O for to beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine instincts always remain with us. May the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Good evening, everybody. We shall offer this Eucharist for the repose of the soul of Kaitan Fernandez. As we are gathered here together for this Eucharist, let us ask ourselves, before we begin, why have I come here? Have I come here because I have certain needs? I have come here because I come every Saturday or I come every Sunday, or have I come here before because I love the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are gathered here together for this Eucharist, let us come with the grateful hearts grateful hearts for the week that is just getting over, grateful for all the good and the not so good that has happened. At the same time, let's acknowledge that we are weak human beings. We tend to make mistakes knowingly, unknowingly, we strive to do well, but we tend to fail. So with our weaknesses, with our shortcomings, let us turn to the Lord and ask Him and one another for pardon, peace and forgiveness. I confess to from my God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me for all our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. See you on your 
let us praise and glorify God for his goodness to us. Let us pray, O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from the slavery of sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he. Humble and mounted on a donkey on a colt, the foal of a donkey. I will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem and the battle bow shall, shall be cut off and he shall speak peace to the nations 
his rule shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth the word of the lord our response to god's word is i will bless your name forever my king and my god please repeat i will bless your name forever my king and my god i will extol you my god and king and bless your name forever and ever i will bless you day after day and praise your name forever and ever our response i will bless your name forever my king and my god the lord is kind and full of compassion slow to anger abounding in mercy how good is the lord to all compassionate to all his creatures our response i will bless your name forever my king and my god all your works shall thank you o lord and your faithful ones bless you they shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds our response i will bless your name forever my king and my god the lord is faithful in all his word and holy in all his deeds the lord supports all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down our response i will bless your name forever my king and my god a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans brethren you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if in fact the spirit of god dwells in you anyone who does not have the spirit of christ does not belong to him if the spirit of him who raised jesus from the dead dwells in you he who raised christ jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you so then brothers we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh for if you live according to the flesh you will die but If by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body you will live the word of the lord thanks be to god please arise for the gospel acclamation Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to little children the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus declared, "I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding, and revealed them to children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will." 
All things have been handed over to me by my father. And no one knows the son except the father. And no one knows the father except the son and anyone to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I asked all of you at the beginning of this Eucharist, why have you come? Have you come because of a force of habit? Because you come every Saturday or Sunday? Have you come because the church says you must come to Mass, you must celebrate the Eucharist? at least once a week? Have you come to thank the Lord? Have you come to ask for certain graces, blessings, favors, and so on and so forth? Let us take a look at the Gospel passage today where we have Jesus giving us the right attitude. The first thing Jesus does in today's Gospel passage is he begins by thanking his Father. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. And why does Jesus thank the Lord? Because God has made a choice for the poor, for the dispossessed, for the humble, for the unlettered, so on and so forth. It doesn't mean that God neglects the others, but God has made a definite choice. And therefore Jesus says, I thank you, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing these things to the little ones, to the unlettered, to the simple, and hiding them from the wise and the learned. What happens to us, my dear brothers and sisters, we often think that we are wise and learned when it comes to dealing with others. We think that we are better than them. After all, we have a PhD. And what is a PhD? Any idea? My definition of PhD is permanent head damage. Permanent head damage. You have studied so much, you are still top heavy that your heart is damaged. Or you can look at it as permanent heart damage. We don't seem to reach out to people, to the ones who need us the most. And Jesus thanks the Father. Secondly, Jesus invites. First is thanksgiving, second is invitation. Jesus invites us, come to me all you who labor and are heavy laden. All of us. We are not only working, my dear brothers and sisters, we are laboring. We are doing hard work to bring up our families, to study, to live good lives. I personally believe that all of us are laboring in life. All of us are working hard. There is no doubt about it. And sometimes we are worried. All of us who are laboring, who are worried, who are weary, we get tired, and the Lord says, come to, come to me. And why do we come to him? Why do we go to him? So that he will take away our worries, take away our difficulties. Yes or no? Hello? Yes or no? No. Read carefully. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. He doesn't say, I will take away your burdens. He says, I will give you rest. In other words, we come to Jesus 
he energizes us gives us new strength new energy so can so that we can go ahead and fight our own battles of course his grace is there there is no doubt about it the lord will give us the grace but we have to live our lives don't expect god to live your life or somebody else to live your life our burdens we have to carry but we come to church we come to the lord so that he can give us rest he can energize us become aware how often we pray to the lord lord take away this and take away that lord give me this lord give me that there's a nice story of a guy who was praying to the lord every day poor man he was praying to the lord lord please let me win one lottery one lottery i'm not asking too much just one lottery lord 5 lakhs not more 5 lakhs every day he was praying and his prayer was not answered and he was getting upset and then one day he heard the lord saying you are praying to me that you want to win a lottery but for heaven's sake buy a ticket if you have not bought a ticket and you expect god to give you a lottery sorry you are in the wrong place what god is telling us is work hard try your best i am there to help you and he will help us according to what he thinks is right he may not necessarily give us what we want but he will definitely give us what we need there's a difference in the two and therefore the lord says come to me and i will give you rest that is the invitation and then with that the lord tells us something else if we think our burdens are heavy if we think we, we if we think we have difficulties the lord says take my yoke and put it upon you you think you've got burdens i am giving you a little more and then the lord gives us an assurance and what is the assurance learn from me for i am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for your souls what do we learn from the lord we learn from the lord how to carry our burdens take a look he as a human being had to carry the burden of being a human being he was a poor carpenter's son he had a difficult life and he had a terrible death he had to carry the cross he had prayed to his father father take this cup away from me yet your will not mine so the lord teaches us how to carry our burden in humility patience and trust trust in the god who loves us unconditionally so the lord begins by thanksgiving he gives us an invitation and he gives us an assurance and an example on how we have to carry our cross let us pause for a while my dear brothers and sisters and pray to the lord to give us the grace to be truly disciples of this jesus our divine master who has taught us how to live lives let us pause for a while and pray for this grace let us now profess our faith in the lord i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen the lord invites us today to approach him with all our ups and downs to trust in him and therefore with the confidence that our prayers will be heard and answered by our loving father let us pray our response is lord hear and answer our prayers please repeat lord hear and answer our prayers for the pope 
the bishops and the clergy that in the carrying out of the pastoral work entrusted to them they may become ministers after the heart of Jesus that goes after the people who are overburdened and oppressed we pray to the lord lord, lord hear and, and answer our, our prayers. prayers for world leaders and their governments that they may work for the benefit of people lifting them up from poverty and hunger we pray to the lord lord, lord hear and, and answer, answer our, our prayers, prayers. We pray that violence and riots may stop in Manipur and God would bring peace between the different ethnic communities and that those in power would intervene wisely. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear and answer Lord. our prayers. For all those whose work involves physical strain, that the loving God may protect them and give them energy and strength to carry on with their work. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear and answer our, prayer. our prayers. Please pray for community and personal needs. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear and, and answer our, prayer. our prayers. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of your son Jesus whose life is a constant source of inspiration for us. Give us the grace to follow his footsteps. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Mighty brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly totally right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the hosts of heaven adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with you in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. Francis Xavier, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, with Ozzy, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, all religious men and women, all of us who are gathered here, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing in this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us join ourselves to one another and to the whole of creation especially suffering humanity, and address to the Father the family prayer that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, especially the evil of our selfishness and our pride, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxieties, doubts, and worries, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ said to your disciples, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people gathered here and the needs of the world, and grant us the love, peace, and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us share with one another the peace of Christ. May this bring the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and your love, O Lord. Never let us be parted from you. This, my dear brothers and sisters, is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. This is he who invites us to go close to him. This is he who gives us rest. This is he who gives us his body and blood to strengthen us. Happy are we who have come to share in the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring us healing and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. We ask this, O Christ our Lord. Notices for this week, 9th July 2023. The Archdiocese Women's Commission invites you to a women's leadership training program held on weekend evenings from 15th July to 3rd September. Please refer to the notice board for further details. The Divine Child Polytechnic Institute is offering a range of courses from a few days to six months, including beauty culture, electrical maintenance, computer and fashion designing. They are offering a significant fee reduction for those who are facing financial difficulties. We encourage you to take full advantage of these courses and the benefits they offer. For more information, kindly refer to the Church Notice Board. Reminders, families intending to relocate the remains of a loved one to a niche are advised to notify the parish office in writing within one year. Please check the parish notice board and our community WhatsApp groups for information regarding our parish Ignatius Feast Contest. The best entries will be published in the upcoming Family Khabar. This is a final reminder to parents of students studying in third grade. Their children are to attend our JFC Sunday School for the pre-First Holy Communion program. Students in 9th and 10th grade are expected to attend the pre-confirmation JFC program. Both of these programs will take place during the regular JFC class time. For 10th grade students, the JFC sessions will conclude in December. We sincerely thank you for your contribution of 1,2440 to our last weekend's collection. May God bless you. Mass Intentions, Saturday, 15th July, 7.30 a.m., Month's Mind Mass of Mary Andrew Fernandez. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord in all our brothers and sisters. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.